Slumped down a little low. Uh, it's still rather hot in here. This is too hot for a t-shirt. So, this is uh, what's going to happen. Um... Yeah, I, I get I get things around. We have I have things are around drought, uh, 80, 85 degrees. Uh, so with this, even with the shirt on, you end up sweating too much, and uh, not good for things. So, so to keep uh, to make the uh, the the temperatures bearable, there's a lot of hydration. Mm, mostly uh, liquid meals like shakes and stuff like that with a protein. With a I don't do protein powders. What I do is there are certain uh, dried fruits and vegetables that if you if you mill them into a powder will form your protein powder. And so rather than going with something that's chemically oriented uh, or or processed, uh, I do the work myself. So you, you it, it, so it'll be like say like a you can get a date uh, banana smoothie. Uh, and you'll have a lot of vitamins, a lot of uh, nutrients in that uh, shake itself. So that it actually replaces an entire meal. So you don't have to have anything that's bulky in your system. That's kind of the way I do things. So I just, we just finished now with, with it, it, It's Our Life. Uh, I watched, the, uh, on the weekends I miss, I, I, I miss a couple of videos because I'm gone for the weekend and I don't have my Android box to use. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at my other, uh, at my parents' house, so, but that gives me something to catch up on, and I thought the, the first video I watched, uh, was talking about, uh, their dog, Clover, uh, and what they're wondering whether, uh, I can't remember what it, what it, what it was now anymore, in my, it was in my mind, Oh, Cavalier. The dog is a, it was supposed to is supposed to be a Cavalier. They have papers that it's a Cavalier, but it doesn't necessarily look like a Cavalier. And the thing is, sometimes what happens is that just because you have pure breeds doesn't necessarily mean there aren't other genes that become active in the offspring. I mean, uh, when uh, in terms of uh, my appearance in the family, I appear look like my my un my uncle Jimmy. Uh, who is the youngest of, uh, of let's see, my dad, uh, my uncle George, uh, my aunt Tina, and my uncle Jimmy. So four kids, out of four kids, uh, three boys, the youngest one, the youngest boy uh, is my uncle Jimmy. And I look most like him. I have a lot of his features. And so what happens is that you don't know, it is not necessary with the genetics that you look exactly within the immediate family, but rather you can take on characteristics or traits uh, that are outside the family. This is the nature of genetics. And the interesting thing is, as you watch behaviors, you know, so see, cybernetics doesn't only just look at the behaviors. It looks at genetics. It looks at, a lot. in other words, you're trying to model the human being from the behavior on through everything else. And so you do look at, at the physiology, you look at the mechanism, you look at um, uh, the differences in mechanism, the differences in physiology, uh, different uh, muscular constructions, uh, different uh, skeletal constructions, uh, defects, things that are maybe, maybe not exactly the way they should be, uh, whether they are significant or I insignificant, the, you know, good example, uh, allergies. Allergies can be anywhere from mild to severe. Uh, and this is where many people will need will require an EpiPen because their allergies become so severe that uh, uh, their 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 passageways constrict and the, the, where the larynx is, and, and they and the the uh, they need the the drug epinephrine, but they need it in a very quick shot, and so they have a syringe loaded needle, mm -hmm. uh, 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 a a spring loaded needle in a syringe, and they they jab it into their thigh. And it brings the uh, it brings the the medication that reverses the, um, the 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 reaction in a very quick manner, so they can sort of survive it. So, anyways, this is we're we're starting the video today around uh, our today our Monday and Tuesday video, uh, our vlog. We're starting it at around six fourteen. I should have the first episode up 
by sometime later on tonight. Uh, and we'll Well, I brought the temperature down to about uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a lot more comfortable than it was before. It's closed, well, it's a little after 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm just now finishing uh, up uh, getting the publishing, uh, the, getting the uh, first vlog published. I'm getting it up on the internet. It's already up. Uh, I have to do some finishing touches on it in terms of getting out to where I want it to be in terms of be, in terms of being visible then from there uh, 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 we'll start doing this on a more daily basis so we'll, the first one's up I'll edit the second one tomorrow get that up as well and then hopefully the process will become smoother and smoother right now there's still bumps here and there uh, I did this while I was watching uh, the vlog my uh, the, the, the uh, vlogs that go by I went by uh, Yowie vlogs then it went by uh, it's our it's our life but they weren't around uh, they didn't have a vlog up for today uh, went by the Leroy's they didn't have anything up for today uh, after that I went to uh, it's our life uh, no, no it's our, our family nest and they had some stuff up so I watched their vlogs. Then I watched the vlogs from, I just finished a um, uh, Family Five vlogs. And now I'm going over to see if Clintus TV has anything. And then we'll be back on to our regular schedule. We'll be back probably around a couple hours from now uh, to tell you what I've been doing. And basically, this could be more of this and finishing up some of the publishing work for um, uh, our life as. Uh, Cyborg Alpha. Well, it's just about quarter four in the morning. Quarter to five in the morning. So this is where we're ending our video. I was just sort of walking, going around the sort of, the, I guess you call it the teen channels uh, on YouTube. Uh, interesting perspectives. They have, see, YouTube does, a, has, does something strange. It creates, and this is what Lionel LeBron kind of often refers to, as these instant experts. That you're on YouTube, and if you're proper enough, then, well, then you're an expert. And that's what happens with the celebrities as well. The celebrities are experts because, well, they're popular. They must know. <laughs> so, no. so what happens? Their word becomes law, and uh, you know, unquestionable because they're the. Uh, all right, they're the uh, sort of. Uh, Acknowledged uh, standard and intelligence and knowledge. But the thing is, that's not always the case. And, and when sometimes when things tr are try, you try to answer or they try to answer things. It doesn't the answers don't always pop up? You experience things in your own way, but the, at the same time, the answers as to why you do what you do is not necessarily there. You just sometimes you do, and it works out. And I got Lars talk to, uh, talks up to, and this is where you sort of you, you sort of take the observation as a as a researcher. Okay, well you're doing um, organic organic chemistry in the human body. Why do you have side effects, and how do you determine what the side effects are? Well, you can't. You can do a general understanding of the side effects, but how it works from from person to person in terms of the in terms of the specifics, you don't know that. It, it, it's something that you have to experiment do experiment with. This is what the doctors do when they try one drug or another drug or, you know, they try a variety of different, we'll call, methodologies. Um, this is what they call prescriptions uh, in order to resolve a particular problem. Um, so it could take a while before you actually find the right solution based on your own biochemistry. I mean, it does, finding solutions to unique problems or or, or problems where you don't necessarily have the easy solution available. Take, for example, uh, our place here. It heats up very quickly during the daytime, but at nighttime it, take, it needs some, some, some finesse to cool it off because 
uh, I only have one air conditioning unit, and it's not even when it's running at full speed at its most powerful. It's still not enough to cool off the whole place. It pulls off enough humidity so that the heat is bearable, but at the same time, it gets to a point where it just builds and builds and builds and builds and. It becomes, in many cases, a, a, a health hazard because it gets too hot. But what I found out is, that, and this is, actually we found out using using orga, um, organic chemistry, but, but thermodynamics. And understanding how the heat flows, I was able to find a way to cool the building at night, cool my unit, uh, without using any, any extra power. It was simply a matter of airflow, and once once I figured out how to do, do the airflow, uh, and this is without having animals come in and out, the place became cool enough that now I can wear the shirt uh, and not be uh, you know well, not have my uh, my bare chest showing. And because we're supposed to be G generals, uh, it's, it's not a good good idea for me to have my my, my shirt off. But you know that's this this is this is something I've learned from experience. Yeah, I know it's very difficult for younger people to articulate. Even now, at this point, it's not it's not easy at this point for for my for ourselves to do this articulation, studying voices and and why words are chosen as opposed to others, the the phrasing, or in, in the proper term. The diction. The dictionary is not about spelling words. The dictionary is in the word itself. Diction means how you use the words. So a dictionary is not a more is not really about about the spelling. A dictionary is more how the words are used. And a lot of times it'll give you examples of context without giving you the context itself. So that you can take the word and use it in your context as you need to. Anyways, this is the end of the vlog for today. We'll start again in about an hour or so. And going back to the Yowie vlogs. Well, I may not be worth it, but no refunds. <laughs> Alright, take it easy.